In this lesson, you will learn how to write the equation of a line given two points that the line passes through. We will write in point slope form, slope intercept form, and standard form. The first step is to find the slope of the line using the two points. If we have two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, the slope of the line that passes through these points is calculated using this formula. To apply this formula, first label the given points. Label the first point as x1, y1, and the second point as x2, y2. Then, substitute the values into the formula. Replace y2 with 5, y1 with 2, x2 with 7, and x1 with 6. Now, simplify. 5 minus 2 is 3, and 7 minus 6 is 1. This equals 3, right? So, the slope of the line passing through these two points is 3. The next step is to write the equation using the slope and one of the points. You can use either the first or the second point. Let's use the first point. The most straightforward form of a linear equation to use when you have a slope and a point is the point-slope form. In this form, m represents the slope and x1, y1 represents a point that the line passes through. Now. Substitute the slope and the chosen point into the point-slope form. Replace y1 with 2, m with 3, and x1 with 6. That's it. This is the equation of the line in point-slope form. To write the equation in slope-intercept form, you just need to convert the point-slope form. Start by distributing the 3. 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. In slope-intercept form, y should be by itself. So next, isolate y by adding 2 to both sides. On the left, these cancel, leaving y. On the right, negative 18 plus 2 is negative 16. And there you have it, the equation is now in slope-intercept form. By the way, once you find the slope, you can write the slope-intercept form directly without using the point-slope form. Let's see how in the next example. First, find the slope. Start by labeling the points. Then, substitute the values into the formula. Replace y2 with negative 1. y1 with negative 3. x2 with 4. And x1 with 8. Now, simplify. Remember, subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2, and 4 minus 8 is negative 4, right? If you divide both numbers by 2, it simplifies to 1 over negative 2. Place the negative sign in front. This doesn't change the value of the slope because they are equivalent fractions. So, the slope is negative 1 half. In slope-intercept form, m represents the slope and b represents the y-intercept. Since we have already found the slope, the next step is to find the y-intercept. Note that because the points lie on the line, they are solutions to the equation, which means we can substitute their values for x and y. So, substitute the slope and one of the points into the slope-intercept form. Let's use the first point, but you could also use the second point. Replace y with negative 3, m with negative 1 half, and x with 8. Now, solve for b. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and negative 1 times 4 is negative 4, right? Next, Add 4 to both sides to isolate b. On the left, negative 3 plus 4 is 1. On the right, these cancel, leaving b. Now that we have the values for both m and b, the final step is to substitute them back into the slope-intercept form. Replace m with negative 1 half and b with 1. This is your equation in slope-intercept form. If you start with point-slope form and convert it to slope-intercept form, as we did in the previous example, you will get the same answer. Give it a try. Sometimes, you might need to write the equation in standard form. In that case, it's easier to start with point-slope form and then convert to standard form. Let's go through this step by step. First, find the slope. Start by labeling the points. Then, substitute the values into the formula. Now, simplify. This is the same as adding seven, right? Nine minus one is eight and 5 plus 7 is 12. If you divide both numbers by 4, it simplifies to 2 over 3, right? 
so the slope is two-thirds. Next, write the equation in point-slope form, using the slope and one of the points. Use the first point and substitute the values. This simplifies to adding 7, right? Now, we have the equation in point-slope form. To convert it to standard form, first eliminate the fraction. To do this, multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator of the fraction. On the left, distribute the 3. On the right, the 3's cancel, leaving 2 times x plus 7. Now, distribute the 2. In standard form, the variable terms are on the left and the constant is on the right. So next, subtract 2x from both sides to collect the variable terms on the left and add 3 to both sides to collect the constants on the right. On the left, these cancel, leaving negative 2x plus 3y. On the right, these cancel, leaving 14 plus 3, which equals 17. Remember, in standard form, the coefficient of x should be positive, but here it is negative. To make it positive, multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. Multiplying by negative 1 simply changes the sign of each term. And there you have it, the equation is now in standard form. If you want to convert it to slope-intercept form, follow the same steps up to this point. Then, add 3 to both sides to isolate the y term. On the left, these cancel, leaving 3y. On the right, you get 2x plus 17. Finally, divide both sides by 3 to isolate y. That is it. The equation is now in slope-intercept form. To learn how to write the equation of a line from a graph, check the links in the description. But first, let's look at two special cases. Notice that the y values for both points are the same. What does this tell us about the slope? Let's find out. Substitute the values into the formula. Simplifying this, the slope turns out to be 0, right? Now, write the equation in point-slope form using the slope and one of the points. Use the first point and substitute the values. Since 0 multiplied by any number is 0, the right side of the equation becomes 0. Therefore, the equation of the line is y equals 3. This means y is always 3, no matter the value of x. A slope of 0 means the line is horizontal. If you plot the given points on a coordinate plane and connect them with a straight line, you will get a horizontal line crossing the y-axis at 3. So y equals 3 represents this horizontal line. In general, if the y values of the given points are the same, the slope is 0, the line is horizontal, and the equation is y equals the y-coordinate of the points. Now. Let's flip the scenario. What if both points have the same x value? Let's see what that means for the slope. Substitute the values into the formula. Simplifying this, you find that the denominator is 0. Division by 0 is undefined, so the slope is undefined. An undefined slope means the line is vertical. Vertical lines cannot be written in point-slope or slope-intercept form because there is no number we can substitute for m, as it is undefined. Instead, the equation is written as x equals the x-coordinate of the given points. Here, the x-coordinate is negative 2, so the equation of the line is x equals negative 2. This means x is always negative 2, no matter the value of y. If you plot the given points on a coordinate plane and connect them with a straight line, you will get a vertical line crossing the x-axis at negative 2. So, x equals negative 2 represents this vertical line. In general, if the x values of the given points are the same, the slope is undefined, the line is vertical, and the equation is x equals the x-coordinate of the points. To learn how to write the equation of a line from a graph, check the links in the description. Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.